Take the ends off. Cut the sweet potato in half, then chop it into wedges, then into cubes. This morning we're food prepping for three days. We got four chicken breasts with paprika and pepper seasoning, four chicken breasts with classic barbecue, then we got one whole pack of sweet potato wedges, salt, pepper, and cinnamon. Put it in the oven, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, however long it takes to cook. Boil a bit of broccoli alongside it. You've got like eight small good meals to eat throughout the day. After the video the other day, Pixel got in contact and said, we want to send you some more hand grips to try. So I said, sure, bring it on. Also in that video, they commented and said that they are the manufacturers of the Bear Complex grips. I don't know if they should give out that information, but now everybody knows. Falcon grips, Raven grips. Hey, hold on to my finger, Jazz. Jasmine grips. <laughs> and some of the three-fingered Azer grips. I sound like I'm on dodgeball. Blade. Azer. Laser. Raven. Blazer. Cheese sandwich. <laughs> The nuggets have been made from scratch, so no animal was killed for it. The cells are taken from feather. They're treated with protein, and after a couple of days, there's enough meat for a nugget. Lab-grown chicken nuggets. Science. Honestly, if it means that less chickens die and we use science to make food, as long as it's safe, I'm down. Makers today, we're gonna to train. Look, they got a new fridge. They also have this, which is new, and it's pretty cool. It's a kettlebell money pot. I think I've done my tape up too tight, but it's no going Can back. Can you feel now. them still? Um, <laughs> yeah, but look, it's going red already. <laughs> oh dear. Got a load of toast of our next, so gonna try that. Lisa. Bit of banter incoming. Banter! Sean Sweeney, one of the most likable people at the CrossFit Games. He's, he's the guy that wears the cowboy hat, and he had like, for any of you that were there in the Coliseum, you would have known that he had the biggest fan base. They had his faces and hats. He's now endorsing the uh, Vibra plates. Here's him working out. Toast about hands down walk time, skill, 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 under fatigue. Craig? Yo. Is, is this your bag? Uh, no, I think. Uh, yeah. I know the eggs in it. <laughs> you've got to be, you've got to be prepared for anything. Uh, what have we got? This is, yeah. Finish hasn't been hurt. Is this flour? Uh, so you have protein. 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 Some fats. And some fats. Carbs. 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 Two hats. What's in your gym bag? Prepared. I should take my 16 eggs to the to the box every day. Quick tip, if you missed the review, the grip review the other week, the other day, whenever it was. Go back and watch it. Go back and watch it. God damn it, what are you doing? Why are you missing videos? So disappointed in you. I'm as disappointed as my child meeting Rich Froning and not knowing who he is. Anyway, one of the tips that if you didn't, if you didn't watch that video, you wouldn't have seen, and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. You know I love the Alex Smith grips, the ones with no finger holes, right? If you do have finger hole grips, right? It's gonna blow your mind. You don't have to wear them with your fingers through the finger holes. Yeah, so basically what I like to do when I have grips that have finger holes is the same as with the Alex Smith grips. So when I jump up, I'll just wrap them straight over the bar. Like this. What that'll do is instantly put the grip, like it will pull on your wrist more than actually on your grip so you can hold on for longer. Just a quick tip if you're doing high volume gymnastics.
allowed 45 seconds around, just progressively got more painful. Final time, 7.47. This is a genius thing, team. A soft ball to kick around, because then you can't damage anything. If it made you like a way better CrossFitter, would you do it? Raw eggs. What was it? Raw eggs, tuna, eggs and joints, vanilla. Yeah. No. <laughs> I think I'd do it, but if it had to do it every day, no. Every box owner's dream. 40, min 40 minutes of powerful suction. That's what she said. Real talk, Jazz. Yes, I'll have some milk, please. That'd be great. Coffee post training. Oh, it's my second one of the day. I'm breaking my one a, one a day. We've taken a quick break for an infomercial. If you would like to buy this suction machine, you, you can catch yourself a jazz if you want to. For the low cost of $499.99, paid in 12 month installments of $49.99, terms and conditions do apply. Recently, with Jasmine, her training has been good, but mentally, maybe not so good. No. Mental resignation, right here. I'm one of those people that's super competitive. Jazz is all, like super competitive. We're competitive people. If you do CrossFit, you're probably competitive. But I'm like a, you're more of like an openly competitive person. I feel like I just store my competitiveness inside and it just eats away at me. I would say two, two and a half, I, no, I'd say more longer than that. It's before body power and everything. I don't know what you're about to say, so don't know. I would say a good six months ago, I completely shifted my mindset. So like, I would go into workouts kind of putting excess amount of pressure on myself going, I should be able to achieve this, I should be able to do this. I mean, we saw it a little bit in the open, I just, I knew what I could achieve and I kind of got frustrated because I didn't and then the second time around I'd do it because I'd take away that, because then I'd just take away that pressure. I'd be like, I've done it once, what, what, am, I, what am I worried about? Basically a big thing that I want to tell you guys in the, in the CrossFit community or in the training community or is, Honestly, take away that pressure every time you go into the box and just remember that you're there to enjoy it. I found that after a while, I'd like learned the moves and I put that pressure on myself. And then I was, I was anxious for going in to just do normal workouts and not necessarily looking forward to training. It's absolutely true. I had the exact same thought on the drive to the box today. And I was like, why am I putting myself through such mental torture like, I was literally dreading training today. And you shouldn't feel like that, like we do this for fun. Am I aspiring to be the next games athlete? No. So like, why am I putting so much pressure on myself? Basically in the last like six, eight months, ever since I've gone, don't worry about the training, just go in there and do what you can and have fun with it and, and just like attack it. I feel like I've gone like this as an athlete and that's whatever, but it's me just going in and being like, I'm hitting this workout to the best I can today and just enjoying it and making it suck and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and do it again and again and again. Mentally, it's just as draining as physically if you put that pressure on your, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but ba basically, don't let yourself mentally burn out. Don't worry about workouts. Don't worry about what anyone else is doing out there. Go and watch them on Instagram or do cool stuff. Watch us on YouTube, do some cool stuff. But honestly, trust in the consistency that you are gonna put in. Trust in the enjoyment that you're gonna put in and just make it suck every day. And after the workout go, yeah, no, you know, I did it. And that's the main thing, not going like, oh, I could have done this better, I could have done that better. I could have been a little bit quicker. Yeah, you can reflect because you wanna learn, but don't reflect to dig on yourself. If I do a workout on one day in a positive mindset compared to doing the exact same workout on a different day with a negative mindset, I will have two completely different results. My physical level is exactly the same. It's got nothing to do with it. Your, a negative mindset can have the biggest difference on a workout. So just try to just eliminate it. Just switch off, even if it's not positive, just switch off and just do the work and just like, who are you trying to... Do? And this is you speaking to you at the moment. Yeah, and... Because, of, like, we make YouTube videos, right? And we, we're normal people and we just have fun and jazz is, like... You're, you're giving the advice, but you're also trying to take it. And after, over the last couple of weeks, it's, like, been really hit and miss. Like, some workouts have been fine, and then today you just come in and you're like... Ugh. But then, like, over time, you'll just get out of the pressure phase mm. and just more the... I feel like I should be doing better than I am. But really, why? For who? The mug's the size of Jazz's head. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. There you go. Bit of real talk in today's vlog, eh? Hey, look, it's actually the size of my head. Yeah. Crazy. It's like Jay-Z, but with a crayon. You're my best friend. I love you. 
You're horrible. Best horrible friend. Best friend. <laughs> That's like the best video you've ever yeah. found. Oh my god, do you remember going to the to the post office and topping up your phone? I never had a credit for an I only ever had contract. And the Nokia thirty three ten with snake. Chip on my shoulder, Jake. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you? I'm so unbelievably comfortable. Come on. I, I, I just can't move, Jazz. Time to go. I've been here for like 25 minutes. Joel's waiting. And the, yeah, I know. And the only thing I've been able to move is my ankle. That's the only thing that's Come not support. No, that's the only thing that's not supported. It feels so good. I don't know why. Like right now, I feel like that feeling. You know, when you get into bed at night and you've had like a really stressful long day and you just get in and you're just like, ah. Oh. And just like that, another session bites the dust. Here comes that theme music again. What a building cross. Why are you running? That funny run you do that when you, it's not quite a run. It's not a run, but it's not a walk. I found the perfect vehicle for Jazz that I am going to buy her for Christmas. Go on. Yep. It's a horse mobile. <laughs> Unaffiliated spread. It's the best thing ever. Isn't it? The, yeah. the crunchy bits oh, and you're just like, oh, yeah. raisin yogurt. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, there you go. Yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's all I've got. Joel is playing a gig tonight in Nottingham. And then we road trip it back to ours, which is an hour. He's bought loads of road snacks. Adam, would you like a chip? Because I ate one of yours. What? It blew my mind that everyone queues for the bar. That's <laughs> the only university I've ever been to where they like, they literally all queue for the bar and then they wait for the next one and they move through it. So, they're, they're so weird there. Book recommendation by Joel. Yes. It's basically the only book. Either that or my own book that is in popular bookstores or online. <laughs> Out on paperback on Thursday. Oh, wow. That's Always actually fun. true. Always <laughs> mad. That's actually true. What's it called? Uh... <laughs> It's a while since the hardback come out. It's, uh, it's not me, it's them. Nice. Um, oh. You need that way so I didn't accidentally drink out of it. Look at this. Let's write down what I'm going to do. I love looking back at this stuff and you just look back and it just says like, not funny. That's <laughs> <laughs> And it's all about lifting 100 kilos tomorrow. <laughs> That's what I'm Yeah, so team, about. team, these, these are both on 95 kilos. Squat clean. <clears throat> we're gonna do it tomorrow. I'm at work. Go. Oh. Oh. But we're Unfortunately, we're gonna do it. You're gonna do it, and I'll send you a video, and I'm gonna go, ha ha, did it before you. <laughs> it's just, I can't, I just can't get past it in my mind. I find it very difficult, all this heavy lifting macho malark. This pen's too big. <laughs> the small ones down there. Jeez, we're back Made at uni. It. Made it. We are back at uni. Student again. Yeah. It's chaos. Why do, why do we have to get older? No. <laughs> like the lats. Oh, the lats a good one. It's a big year in the lat. Glute. The glutamus maximus. Full name. I bet you know the full name. They always go to the clubs at the university. Like I touched the glutamus maximus. <laughs> It loves it. <laughs> He's behind you, like, yeah. This is a good choice. How old are you, Joel? 33 years of age. And this is his first ever Krispy Kreme. What? Oh, it tastes real good. Yep. I think it might not be my last. Nope. <laughs> Great influences, Jess. This is, uh, this is what you eat when you're, you're going to PI you clean tomorrow, am I? Yep. One hundred percent. One hundred. Crispy, crispy clean. <laughs> yeah. That is the correct pronunciation. What have you done, Jess? 
I'm oh, this is great. Not get I just got to the middle bit. Oh, how good is it? Oh my god. It's incredible. That tastes like 